welcome to this special Halloween edition of The Booze Geek. Coming to you live from beyond the grave, I am your special host for the week, the host with no name. On today's episode, we're going to be tasting and reviewing from Van Steenberg Brewing in Belgium, their aptly named Dead, or their aptly named Dead Man's Hand. This beer is a wine barreled aged Russian Imperial Stout, and it clocks in at a deathly 10% ABV. So if you drink one too many, you should go into a long, grueling sleep. However, I'm going to pop the top on this and let's get this dead party started and see if we can raise some ghouls from the grave. One moment. Hey, excuse me, I'm busy in the middle of something. I'll call you back. Back to the beer. Let's give this a nice, dark roar. Ooh, a very, very deathly black color on that. A veil of white, off-white, because we do not like the color white for the carbonation, but I do like the color. Let's give this a swirl and get the aromas flowing and give it a nose. So, there are some minor hints of coffee, some sweet chocolate, we don't like that word sweet, but it is predominantly almost like a cherry liqueur aroma, it's very potent. There is also some dark fruit and just a slight hint of vanilla, but one more swirl and a sip to get this dead party started. <laughs> Mm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Definitely the wine overtones are predominant on the flavors here. You're definitely getting remnants from the wine barrel. The beer is very dry. Now, I'm not sure what type of wine was you know, in these used barrels, but it's only, it could be almost like a Cobb Franc. Cobb Franc is usually a drier grape, and this is a dry beer, so it could be reminiscent of a Cobb Franc because there also is that dark fruit. There is a hint of coffee, a hint of cocoa, and it's rounded out by some nice star anise or some black licorice flavor, which is very, very nice. Us dead people, we like that. Um, I would definitely rate this a 9 out of 10 on the pintometer. Uh, my only complaint is I like the balance, but I think the wine notes overshadow the rest of the flavors trying to cut through. Uh, but beyond that, it is a very, very nice drinking beer, especially if you're going to have a party for the dead, a celebration of the Day of the Dead, or even maybe if you're celebrating Devil's Night in Gloria Samhain. We like him very much. But with all that being said, I recommend drinking this for your All Hallows Eve parties. Just don't overindulge. I don't want to see you anytime soon. But with that being said, I want to thank everyone for joining in. Once again, you can follow him, the other guy, at his websites, which are www.pubstohaveaplankton.com or www.pubstohaveaplankton.blogspot.com and as always, thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you once again from the grave. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I think there's another call coming in. I know who you are. I do not know who I am. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Who are you? What is me? Not in service. Well, I want my change back. Stop it. Shush. No, it's not. Bit, bit, bit. We'll see you next time.
kiddies. 